Hello, great to have you with us, and this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And a look at the starting lineup for Senegal. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Sheku Kouyate in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so the battle commences. using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Dia. And they need to get tighter here. Saar. Could be! Oh, that's a fine save. So the corner played into the box. Boule Dia. Just the challenge that was required. Can he find the right pass? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Very much the run of the mill as saves go. Mane. No possibilities in the centre. Kuyate. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Idrissa Gay. Mendy with it. Dia. And now passing it through. 
couldn't quite hang on. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And he read it well defensively. Now can they make something happen? Mane. Could be! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Who can he pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. And a tidy challenge. Caicedo. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, what a goal that would have been. Surprised he took it on, to be honest. Long way out, but oh, so close. Plata. Good movement. Now just the tackle that was needed. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And space to cross it. Will he finish? And it's in! 1 0. They've breached the defence. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Just cutting off the supply. Caicedo. Ener Valencia. Mendy with it. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And a chance to level it. A oh, tremendous block. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Is it going to be? So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. This looks promising out wide. A fine reading of the situation. Moises Caicedo. Well, possession seeded. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. Angel Mena. Really a very poor ball. Moises Caicedo. Well, great read there to intercept. Angel Mena. Good looking sequence. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And that puts them in position. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Can they hit on the break? Puyate. Cross fired over. And saved by the keeper. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Playing it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Danger averted for now. And they could face difficulties here. He must finish. A smart stop here. Oh, fine play. And maybe it'll set something up. This could be the equaliser. And still an opportunity. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing well when you see this again I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky he makes a good initial save but the ball comes off of him rebounds straight to an attacker and the finish is excellent So the ball is rolling again at one all. Now, who can he play it to? Useful looking ball and tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. And they're making a change. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, still an issue here. Diallo. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly red.
15 minutes left for play. Can they create something from here? Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Kuyate. Jiang. An incisive pass. And now waiting to pounce. And given away. Mane. The danger not over. And up for grabs off the keeper. And problem solved for now. Angel Mena. Counter attacking very much an option. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Can he put them in front? And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed. And then he makes the finish look so easy. Taking it around the goalkeeper before slotting it home. It's a lovely goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a tidy challenge. Angel Mena. Great pressure to win the ball back. Diata. Well, space if he goes inside. Real chance. A really good stop at the critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. Bad pass. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a win for them. So, morale is high. Stuart, your analysis. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Yeah, he gave those defenders a difficult time. He got the all-important goal and created plenty of chances too. He certainly deserves the plaudits for his efforts today.